Good morning. Welcome to this video and welcome to my bike room in Tilburg, the Netherlands. Since it's getting pretty cold outside, I've been slowly starting up my winter training on Zwift again. And I thought because we have some really cool events planned over the next five weeks, I'll tell you more about that later. I thought I would show you my bike room setup because I will always get a lot of questions about it when riding on Zwift and making videos about it. So I can link back to this video when people ask me what sort of equipment I use and how I have my bike room set up. In general, I think for me, the most important thing is that it's kind of easy and quick. One of the things I love about indoor training is that I can be at work, downstairs on the couch, editing videos usually, think, okay, I need to get a ride in, walk upstairs, change into my kit, get on my bike. And within about five minutes, I'm on Watopia, smashing an hour long workout afterwards I get off my bike clean it a little bit take a shower and I don't know like an hour and a half later I'm back on the couch editing videos so I think the biggest benefit of my setup in that terms is the fact that I have a whole room dedicated to my bike stuff which means I don't have to move the trainer anywhere if I'm not using it right now like if you would have this in the living room of course you're gonna get rid of it all the time bike is always here it's always ready I can get up and go that really helps me to get my daily training rides in because if it's too much hassle, it's much easier to skip. So in general, one of the things I want to take into consideration is that I don't have too much uh, stuff. The only products that I want to use are the products that really help me train. And if there's anything that I sort of don't need, I don't want it in there. I don't want it to clutter up the space. I don't want it because usually it makes the setup a little bit more difficult. So I try to keep it simple. I try to keep it also budget friendly. There's a few things in here that are just a pure luxury. But in general, I don't think you need like a super expensive setup to get some proper training done or some proper fun rides done in Zwift over, over the winter time. So first of all, when I created the whole setup in this room, the main thing I took into consideration is the window, which if I open it, allows all the cold winter air to go inside. And this big ass fan helps put all that cold air onto me when I'm on my bike, smashing set workout. It's gonna get hot. And if you get hot, you're gonna want to get the maximum cooling effect. And this, uh, this really helps. Another thing that I put in here, but that you cannot see is a Wi-Fi extender. It's in the room next door, my bedroom. And I think for Zwift, it's kind of key to get a proper connection. So if you can do something to improve the connection you get to your Wi-Fi, it's recommended. Then, to go over the basics of the setup of my bike here, uh, I've got a very heavy rubber uh, sort of training mat. I think I bought it on some kind of fitness store. It was pretty cheap, I think 40 euros. It's very thick and heavy, so it protects my floor. It uh, saves the neighbors from a lot of noise and it collects my sweat so that the room doesn't look as messy as it would if all of my sweat was going on the actual floor. Then, for the first time this year, I am using a laser boom board which is sort of like a stabilization platform for your trainer and bike. It helps in a couple ways. Again, it keeps the noise down a little bit for the neighbors. It makes the riding feel a little bit more natural because if the bike is completely stationary, that's not what your bike feels like when you're riding it outside. And here, if you're putting some pressure on the pedals, it moves a little bit like your bike would do outside. So I think, especially on the longer Zwift rides that I'm gonna do, it's gonna help save my back and ass a little bit and I've been using it for about a month now feels really comfortable I've tuned it a little bit to my weight and to my bike setup with uh, like this counterweight here and with the springs that you can adjust so I think if you're a little bit heavier you can make it a little bit harder and if you're lighter then you can make it a little bit softer and maybe the best thing about this is that it's made from 100% recycled materials so even for sustainability freaks it's a good product to use. It's definitely one of the more sort of luxurious things. Absolutely, you don't need one of these in order to get started on Swift. But if you're gonna do a little bit longer rides and if you're gonna spend a lot of hours on the trainer, I think this is one of the luxuries that you might want to invest a little bit in. From the same company, Laser, I also have this Boom Desk. It's really nice to get your laptop, drinks, remote, phone, coffee, really close to your handlebars because when you're riding, you want to be able to use the controls, get your drinks, do whatever you have to do. And therefore getting some sort of platform that is movable. This one is completely height adjustable. It can go up to sort of here. It can also go down to sort of here. So you can adjust it so that it works perfectly for you. And it's quite spacious. So I've got all of the stuff on here right now. If I want to use my phone for something, I can just put it in here and it stays in there. You can have an iPad in there as well. I always enjoy kind of watching something on YouTube when I'm riding and I have my Zwift screen on my laptop and whatever I'm watching or whatever messages I'm sending, 
doing it on my phone. Oh, and the trainer that I'm using is the Wahoo Kicker Core. I've had it for about four years now. Still works perfectly fine. You can go for the more expensive Kicker Power, I think it's called. But to be honest, with my type of power, I don't feel like I need it. Erg mode works perfectly fine. It can make the resistance high enough for all of the climbs that are in Zwift. So I feel like this more basic model is definitely good enough for me. I do always recommend to get a direct drive trainer. So that's a trainer with a cassette on it where you remove your rear wheel and replace it with the trainer just because it's so much more accurate. You have a power meter in there. The workouts are gonna be a lot easier to do in erg mode. Getting a basic model direct drive trainer is what I would recommend most people to do. There's a few accessories that I love using and that I think are very important. Definitely the most important one is a fan. If you don't have a fan, you're not gonna have a good time riding indoors. I would recommend to get the biggest one you can find. This is a very sort of simple one, but I've improved it very much by getting a very cheap uh, six euro sort of remote control from uh, AliExpress. It sits in between the socket and the power plug of the fan. And if I press on, it turns on. If I press off, it turns off. So if there's like an easier part of the workout, I can turn it off and I don't have to turn it on before I start because then I'm already really cold as soon as the hard part of a workout starts. Brilliant. Another thing that I can highly recommend in uh, daily life, but also on Zwift, is AirPods Pro. It's not sponsored. <laughs> it allows you to listen to whatever motivates you during your workout and it blocks out the noise of the fan and the trainer if there's any of that. So yeah, it's just the best way probably to listen to music without cranking it up super loud and annoying the neighbors with it as well. I, uh, I think that's already it kind of. I thought I would mention a couple of things that I've tried over the last years that didn't work for me. I've had the Wahoo Kicker climb. I've used it a couple times, but the setup was pretty annoying. And to get that effect, I don't know, it's, it's funny but uh, I didn't feel like it was really improving my workouts too much. If I really want to raise my front wheel a little bit, I will just put some books or something else underneath um, and that can help you train the muscles that you use differently uh, when you're climbing. I guess, I don't know really if it works. Put it in the comments if you're a geologist and you really know how that works and if it actually helps train muscles differently for climbing and going straight. And another thing that I tried was a uh, elite steering block that you would put underneath your front wheel so that you could steer and then in Zwift you would also actually steer. Also I felt a little bit gimmicky, Zwift doesn't really use that yet in any sort of training or uh, racing situation so I also sold that after a couple of times. Oh and I just saw there's something else, a few things that Dynamic makes to improve your indoor workouts. They have this special indoor uh, wax. I'm a wax type of guy and uh, this one apparently is a little bit more quiet than the outdoor wax and it doesn't sort of release any particles that would be flying around in your room. That outside is no problem but here you want to keep it kind of clean. Um, after a workout always clean my bike a little bit with uh, some uh, cleaning products and I use this anti-rust spray which is supposed to keep all the metal bits that would maybe rust from your sweat, which is salty and which causes more rust. Like those points in there in the saddle, like this screw over here, some other screws there in front. I always just put a little bit of that stuff on it so I don't end up with a rusty bike once I go back outside uh, next year. And I think that's kind of it in terms of my setup. There's nothing really special about it, but you know, the fact that it's so simple, it really works for me. If you have any suggestions of how I can improve this without making it more complicated, I'm definitely open for that. Uh, so drop them in the comments. And more importantly, I want to invite you to our five week Ride Beyond Cruise Zwift Advent series of challenges that we're hosting over the next five weeks, right up until Christmas. Mike is gonna start the first one this Sunday, which is the day that this video is released. So um, if you've watched this video, go and check out our Swift club. It's called Ride Beyond Crew. What else? Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. And then you can join five weeks of group rides, challenges, just fun social stuff that we're organizing in Swift. There's some prizes to be won, a nice kit by map, a pair of my favorite shoes by Quark, all of the stuff that I talked about from Dynamic, plus some more to get your bike all clean and smooth. And then some riding nutrition from Sturker, plus of course some Ribe Young beers. So definitely enough reasons to join us on our little Advent Challenge week. Hopefully I will see you there and otherwise 
hope you enjoy the next five weeks of indoor cycling content. There will be some outside stuff as well in between, but mainly we're going to do five weeks of indoor riding. See you there. Ciao.